My keyboard has no media keys, can I control media without them? My USB keyboard does not have media keys, that is, dedicated keys for play, stop, next, prev, volume up slash down, etc. For the sake of this question, I would prefer not to install additional software if I can avoid it. Is it possible to issue some standard key sequence on a generic USB keyboard that emulates these play, stop, etc. multimedia keys? Like Control plus Alt plus Shift plus F12 or something obscure like that? I'm pretty sure it's not possible to do what you want. Media keys don't send key combinations, instead, they have their own usage it's in the head. See this document, media keys are in the consumer page, 0 by 0 C. If you want to simulate them using a key combo, you're going to have to do it in software. Windows Auto Hotkey Auto Hotkey UK, is a free, open source macro creation and automation software for Windows that allows users to automate repetitive tasks. It is driven by a scripting language that was initially aimed at providing keyboard shortcuts, otherwise known as hotkeys, that over time evolved into a full-fledged scripting language. This URL To learn about UK I recommend checking its site, pages mentioned in quick reference and especially skimming at least auto hotkey beginner tutorial. Don't forget to download, install and fiddle with it yourself. There is also helpful forum. Example. In this case you should look particularly at following pages, hotkeys, mouse, joystick and keyboard shortcuts, list of keys, mouse buttons, and joystick controls and send, send draw, send input, send play, send event, send keys and clicks. Then you'll be able to assemble simple UX script, for example something like. Here you define following actions. Control plus out plus sends previous. Control plus out plus sends play slash pause. Control plus out plus sends next. Control plus shift plus out plus sends volume down. Control plus shift plus out plus sends mute. Control plus shift plus out plus sends volume up. Control plus out plus. Invokes message box greeting up world, just to show non one line key commands mapping ending with return. Usage. You create dot up file, paste above code in it, wo useless ms box, of course, save and double click to run it. You'll get h icon in sistray allowing you to interact with the script, particularly, suspend hotkeys, pause script, not useful here, or just exit it. For better convenience I suggest compiling such script. You can do it using right button mouse on the file and choosing compile script. Then you'll get .x file, pretty big, but it's like complete auto hotkey, that you can share with others or add to autostart for instance. Remapping via the registry scan code map, key tweak. In auto hotkeys remapping keys and buttons page you can read about other way of assigning keys to keys, remapping. It may be not useful in your case, unless you're ready to lose some keys, but it's still worth reading. Then you should figure out why I haven't used up remapping in my example. Let me quote it, wo block quote to preserve formatting, and fix some links along the way. Quote. Advantages. Registry remapping is generally more pure and effective than auto hotkeys remapping. For example, it works in a broader variety of games, it has no known alt tab issues, and it is capable of firing auto hotkeys hook hotkeys, whereas auto hotkeys remapping requires a workaround. If you choose to make the registry entries manually, explained below, absolutely no external software is needed to remap your keyboard. 
even if you use KeyTweak to make the registry entries for you. KeyTweak does not need to stay running all the time, unlike AutoHotKey. Disadvantages Registry remapping is relatively permanent, a reboot is required to undo the changes or put new ones into effect. Its effect is global, it cannot create remappings specific to a particular user, application, or locale. It cannot send keystrokes that are modified by Shift, Control, Alt, or Alt. For example, it cannot remap a lowercase character to an uppercase one. It supports only the keyboard, Auto Hotkey has mouse remapping and some limited joystick remapping. How to apply changes to the registry? There are at least two methods to remap keys via the registry. Use a program like KeyTweak, Freeware, to visually remap your keys. It will change the registry for you. Remap keys manually by creating a reg file, plain text, and loading it into the registry. This is demonstrated at www.autohotkey.com slash forum slash post 56216.html number 56216 slash quote. Event goes. Event Ghost is an advanced, easy to use and extensible automation tool for MS Windows. It can use different input devices like infrared or wireless remote controls to trigger macros that on their part control a computer and its attached hardware. So it can be used to control a media PC with a normal consumer remote. But its possible uses go much beyond this. This URL. Haven't tried it, but looks interesting and a bit related, so I think it's worth mentioning it here. Some super users may remember Gerda, that unfortunately stopped being freeware long time ago. Event Ghost seems somewhat similar. I no longer have Ava Media's TV Phone 98, but using remote via Gerda was fun. Another option, for laptops, is to set up your trackpad finger gestures in Windows 10. Settings is greater than devices is greater than touchpad. This is how I set mine up since I don't have media keys. Although this isn't exactly what was asked for, this solution is great since you don't need any extra software. Some might find it more convenient than a keyboard shortcut. If you have some useless keys, like scroll lock, or pause, or the key to invoke the contextual menu, or the Windows key at the right side, or else, you can remap it to media keys. Windows, with sharp keys. Mac, with carabiner.